Hello everybody. I'm getting ready for Friday. Got a busy Friday. Some friends want me to come over and do some picking and grinning. Play some of my gospel songs. I'm down to playing praise songs for the Lord Jesus Christ. Uh, I have a whiteboard teaching today. I reinstalled the brass key on my, makes it heavy, on my jewelry that I wear. Wheel within a wheel, circle within a circle. Take them apart and you can make the sign for infinity. The gold drill at a 45 through the two circles, the alpha arrow pointing above. The Templar. Five crosses, but there's a line through it on a 45 that's more important than the five crosses. The YH on the back, the Yod Hay. The White Stone Elikai, my White Stone, Stone Revelation. Spiritual Soldier Warrior name, Elikai, Elikai. Old Testament name. All right. Why is every name, person, image, that which you can see, flesh, human body, person, important in Scripture? Every city and location. Now, in case you don't understand what you're looking at here, this long line all the way up around here, down here is the Dead Sea, the Jordan Sea, the Jordan River. Here's a cross. Let's take some uh, red. Put a little blood underneath it. Blood on the ground when they pierced his side. And so we got a cross with red blood on the ground. Then we got a grave next to it. Modern grave. Lump of dirt and a headstone. And then there should be an arrow pointing above for resurrection. Anyway, what's this dot right here near the Dead Sea? It's Jerusalem. The Lord had a three and a half year ministry. He lived to either 30 to 33. At the age of 33, he was crucified. Or at the age of 30. He had a three and a half year ministry, so his ministry could have started as early as 27 AD or started at 30 AD, went to 33 AD, and possibly a half a year more. But we're going to keep it simple and even. 30 AD to 40 AD up here in the northwest corner of Syria. Do you know what dot or city is up here 10 years later? Can you name that dot right there? Then there's a dot halfway between in Syria. Happens to be the capital of Syria. Do you know the name of the capital of Syria? Then over here is a second dot, which is equal to this dot. They both have the same name. So we got dot Roman numeral one, dot with the same name, Roman numeral two, in the corner or in the middle of... Turkey, or Asia. Asia Minor is over here where all these dots are. I'll make a straight line. This is the trade route of the seven churches in Revelation. All these dots here, and there's more than seven. I'll tell you why. This dot right here, in the middle of Turkey, or Asia, there's a big land mass. And one of the books of the Bible, G-A-L, the Galatians, have this landmass and comes right up near city, Roman numeral number two. All right, let's back up to the beginning. What's important is 30 A.D., Jerusalem, the three and a half year ministry of the Lord and the death of the Lord on a cross. Pierced in his side, blood on the ground, three days. Didn't say three full days. He came out 
at the beginning of the third day, before dawn. So uh, around 4 a.m. or 5 a.m. in the morning while it was still dark. All right, so he comes out of the grave. Five years later, at this dot right here, the capital of Syria, Damascus, so I'll put a D-E-M here. Don't have room to write it out. What happens here? Saul Paul in 35 AD. I don't know if you can see that green. So let's go back to black. We're breaking it down in segments of five years to keep it simple. It's plus or minus. It's a window or a door. It's not that important, but it is important. So 30 AD, the cross, Jerusalem. 35 AD, outside of Damascus, Paul's conversion, a light brighter than the noonday sun, blinds him for three days. Five years after the cross, Paul was persecuting disciples, beloved believers, followers, of the Lord Jesus Christ, and the Lord Jesus Christ said, I am the way, the way, the truth, and the life. Was Paul persecuting Christians between 30 AD and 35 AD? And could even be longer than that. He could have started up his persecution while the Lord was alive on the alive side of the cross, 27 to 30 AD. But by 30 AD, he was in full persecution of the new sect called the Way found in synagogues. They're not called Christians yet. Read Acts chapters 11 and 12, I believe. Let's check it real quick like. Oh man, I hit the timer. I gotta get it to go here. Is it going? Nope. Well, I messed up the timer there, so I gotta watch the timer. Seven minutes. You can read 11, 12, 13 to verse 14. 11, 12, 13, 14. Segments of five, here we go, 30, Jerusalem, 35, Damascus, Antioch, Antioch, Roman numeral, Roman numeral one, because the next dot by 45 AD is Antioch, of Peseda, Roman numeral two, in the time segments of five years, Jerusalem, 30 AD, Damascus, 35 AD, Paul's conversion, Antioch, they are first called Christians at Antioch 10 years after the cross. Paul did not persecute Christians. He persecuted Beloved believers, saints, disciples of the way. That's nine minutes. We'll keep going here. Make it all the way. This is a time map, name of city importance. All right? Antioch, Roman numeral one. Antioch of Peseda, Roman numeral two. Galatia is real close to Antioch, but Antioch is in Peseda, not Galatia. All right, even though there's a letter to the saints of the way in Galatia, and they fall away, O foolish Galatians, who have bewitched you, that you would follow another teaching other than Paul's by a man or an angel, either one of them, let them be accursed if they teach any other teaching than Paul's teaching. By 50 AD, this double zero is the headquarters of, for the new sect called the way, the Lord Jesus before his death. In 30 AD, 
in the Gospel of John, chapter 14, I am the way, the truth, and the life. I am the light that is good, the truth light way. All right? Headquarters for the next 700 years for the new sect called the way, the Lord Jesus Christ being the head of it, for the next into the seventh century till the headquarters at Ephesus, Islam drives out the new sect called the way that is established in Ephesus by 50 AD. E-P-H, Ephesus, E-S-U-S. -S. It is the capital for the Roman Empire in Asia Minor and in Asia. This is the Euphrates River right over here running down. All right? And the Tigris and the Euphrates wide together before they dump into the ocean. And there is a name for the land between the two rivers. I don't remember it right now. Headquarters for the Christway Church is in Ephesus, the Roman capital for the Roman Empire during this time by 50 AD. And then there's, I'll make a triangle right here. This is the Tri-Cities. This is Laodicea, Colossae, and Heropolis. And then there's one... Two, three, four, five, six, seven. This is Troas way up here at the end of the trade route. The trade route runs from Troas, Paul's hometown, through the mountains, through a gorge, up this way, over this way, and all the way up, and also over to Ephesus. So you can get to the ocean by Ephesus or go north to Troas and get your goods on a ship to Macedonia, to Greece, to Achaia, to Corinth, or to Italy. 50 AD, 30 to 50 is 20 years, 10 years to 40 right here is Antioch where they are first called Christians, didn't say they call themselves Christians, said they were first called Christians. And actually, they were the new sect called the way. They were beloved saints. They were disciples. They were beloved believers. And they did not name themselves Christians. The people that watched them speak said they're little Christs. Christ means anointed. They are speakers of truth that are anointed. And the unbelievers called them Christians, and it wasn't a good word. Not till Constantine, Constantinople, in the last quarter or at the end of a 600-year period, made the word Christian a good word, and it's Catholic. All right, Catholics made the word Christian a good word. But the Lord's called out ones, election of Gentiles, election of Israel, the same, born of the Spirit, sealed of the Spirit, they are the disciples of the new sect called the Way, which headquartered 20 years after the cross in Ephesus on the west coast of Turkey. The capital of the Roman Empire became the headquarters of for the Christ way believers. And the Lord Jesus said, I am the way, the truth, and the life. I am the Christ way. I am the Messiah Christ, the anointed sent Son of God. Love you. Bye.